Hello friends, my children are thrilled. Confidently, yours will be very tasty we cook. As always, a list of ingredients is now in the video description. I use dry yeast. I require 3 grams. In the case of utilizing fresh ones, the amount will be 10 grams. This is an extremely tiny teaspoon, weighing a mere 3 grams. There is only one egg in this particular situation or scenario. Milk 130 milliliters cold. I always use cold liquid. Wheat flour, general purpose 250 G. Cocoa, dark 20 to 22 percent, fat 15 G. Ensure that you strain it completely and thoroughly, leaving no residue or impurities behind in the process. If you possess a dough mixer, make certain to utilize it. I use 30 grams of butter, cream the butter, add it in two stages and knead the dough. If you possess a combine, make sure to utilize it. Allow your dough to mix for a duration of 7 to 10 minutes until gluten forms. If you don't have a combine, I'll show you how to make dough of high quality and maximize the gluten development in it using your hands and 3 grams of salt. The dough should be like this, it is not runny, do not add more flour. I mix the dough for about 5 minutes, that's enough at this stage. I add a little oil. I collected the dough, keeping it at room temperature for a duration of 30 minutes. This is a temperature of approximately 20 degrees Celsius. In 30 minutes, I will initiate the first dough extraction. The yeast is working, the dough is doing very well. And do not be afraid of cold water, just give it a try. Water or milk is a liquid substance. The liquid should be cold. I'm staying for another 20 minutes. In 20 minutes I want to do a very important procedure. It's called lamination, add oil to the surface. Not much, yes, so it's a thin layer. Prevent dough from sticking to hands or surface. Dough is soft, pleasant and requires gentle handling. This procedure is called lamination. Repeat. The dough needs to be stretched as thin as possible across the surface from the center to the edges. But please make a conscious effort not to tear the dough. You have to imagine that this is a fabric and you need to gently stretch the fibers without causing any damage. This has a significant influence on the development of gluten in the dough mixture. Thanks to this, the pastry will be incredibly fluffy and tender on the fifth day of preparation. Exercise caution, if you create a small hole, don't worry, don't faint. A bit of glue and everything will be fine, back to normal. All I'm kneading dough. The dough appears similar to fabric. Make sure to test out this technique for your dough, you will be pleasantly surprised. I clicked it like this in a bowl. I will make it more dense and leave it for an additional 20 minutes. 15, 20. The dough is ready. Now I divide it into three equal parts. Use oil, but in a small amount so that the dough does not stick to your hands or the surface. Since we have cut the dough, now we must definitely gather all the individual pieces together. This is important, do not neglect it. I will leave it for an additional 10 minutes to allow the gluten to relax and the dough to become softer and easier to work with, giving it more time to rest and develop its texture. Okay, at this moment I'm shaping the buns. By the way, you have the possibility to make a double portion, not with 250 grams of flour, but with 500 grams of flour if you prefer. It's just a suggestion to consider for a larger batch of buns. 
I create a small portion to demonstrate everything to you more rapidly and efficiently. Make the necessary fixes as the dough should stick together. And this is the way I twist. You must do it tightly, but make sure that your dough doesn't tear apart or come undone. And always fix. Here's what should come out. I am filling out the form. These are the small buns that turned out, but they will be big. They will rise all the way to the top. I place a layer of film over them and let them sit for approximately 1 hour and 30 minutes. After 60 minutes and 30 seconds they approached, climb to the very top. I will bake them for 40 minutes at a temperature of 160 degrees Celsius and 320 degrees Fahrenheit. They cooled down to a lower temperature, which was the temperature of the room more than before. And here is such beauty, they are very tender, fluffy and aromatic. Look at this dough, this bread, buns and as always, enjoy your meal.